Can we just take a moment to appreciate crop tops on guys in the 80s? It was something I've never thought that I would see ever in my life. Hey guys, it's Jess. I'm back this week for a fun video. I'm gonna be looking at the best and the worst looks from 80s films of all time, according to my opinion. There are so many films from the 80s that have costumes that still kind of stand to this day. I would say aspects of them definitely don't. But then there are other ones that even then people considered it to be terrible. But at the end of the day, they're all really fun. The 80s was a very bright, colorful time for fashion. And so it's really fun to just look back and see how insane costumes were in the 80s in films. So without further ado, let's get into it. The most iconic look, or I should say pair, is Patrick Swayze's all black with Jennifer Grey's white dress. And this is a stunning combination because white and black is timeless. And that's why even to this day, it's still very pleasing to the eye. It almost looks like the tulle in the skirt has a bit of a pinkish tint which is very flattering with her complexion and her hair. It's just a very classic silhouette, a beautiful and flattering dress. And of course his high collar 80s rolled up sleeve, black button down with the black slacks and the clean shoes. It's just a, an iconic, timeless look. Now let's get right into the bad. I think I'm gonna go back and forth. I wanna do like one good look, one bad look. I think that we need to balance the bad with the good and definitely cleanse our palette a little bit after seeing some of these looks. <laughs> so there was an 80s show called Dynasty. I've actually never watched it myself, but I've heard from enough, uh, enough people from the 80s <laughs> that they were not a fan of the costumes from Dynasty in the 80s. It is absolutely insane what I'm seeing. The silhouettes, the colors, how reflective the fabrics are, it's just a whole other universe. This one is more reminiscent of the gaudiness of the 80s, the more is better type of mentality with fashion. I mean, you can see that from <laughs> this. This look has to be one of the worst things I've ever seen. I mean, it's not that it's just bad, it's that it's so bad that I can't stop staring at it, which maybe is the appeal. <laughs> so, I think the intention was to make everyone in this photo look rich, but ironically, with how reflective and sequiny and frilly the pink dress is, it's almost doing the opposite. I think it is definitely looking more cheapened with those I mean, it looks like you could get those sleeves at Party City as an add-on. <laughs> One of my favorite 80s films is definitely Can't Buy Me Love. All of the costumes in this film really are amazing, and even to this date, they really hold up. She wears this outfit and it gets ruined, and so the whole premise of the film kind of opens up around this outfit getting ruined, and she's borrowing it from her mom. So it is like a fully suede, kind of three-piece suit but it's like a skirt with fringe on the sleeves over the jacket. I think, especially as a combination, the all white monochromatic look is amazing. The fact that the whole film kind of, the premise opens up around this outfit does mean it needs to stand out. So the fact that it has that belt and the bralette and all the fringe is great, I love it. So now back to the bad. I think that there is gonna be a lot of hate on me for talking about this movie in any negative light because it is a classic. I do love this film. It is Girls Just Wanna Have Fun starring Sarah Jessica Parker. And I think that it is definitely a crazy movie in terms of fashion because they're younger, they're intended to look spontaneous and, and the trends are going all out with 80s and there is a look on the cover. I think it's so funny. <laughs> I think that it is the most 80s thing I've ever seen. I mean, the mismatched colored leg warmers are just a whole thing. I can't even get my eyes off of that alone. It's almost as if the pants were just way too big for her, so she needed suspenders and a belt to make it fit. The red and the pink with the purple suspenders, I mean, it's just so funny. I do love the character, I love the film, but this look is so funny in 2022. <laughs> 
Another classic 80s film, Desperately Seeking Susan. And of course everybody knows this one because Madonna is in it and that's the biggest deal in the world in 1980 anything. It's very her to say the least, but I think that this is a really great look actually, even though aspects of the silhouette are maybe out of proportion. There's a lot of baggy on baggy, the jacket's kind of big. The pants are kind of big, but somehow it works. Somehow the styling in this look, something about the all black underneath the jacket, I think, really ties it all together. The red lip being the only color in the outfit that's not neutral, I think it's timeless. And I think a lot of the oversized blazer trend that's happening right now is because of looks like this. There's this one look from Mannequin in 1987 that is so funny. A lot of people disagree about this look. Some people absolutely love it, some people hate it. I feel strongly about it. I think that's the best way to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's the worst look. I'm just going to say it's insane because it is. It's a LeMay satin suit but it's like bright blue. Anything that covers that much of your body that is that shiny to me is just funny. <laughs> Bill and Ted is definitely honorable mention for a, a look that we feel strongly about in 2022. <laughs> it's the cropped top on the guy. I mean, this is so funny to me. And again, I've seen some people kind of bringing this back Especially if they have abs, they like to have an excuse to show them off with this trend. So I think it's really funny. What is happening? Also, there's like a huge rip. It's just amazing. It's iconic. Everyone loves it or hates it, but either way, you feel strongly about it, so we need to talk about it. <laughs> In the cover photo for Flashdance, we see kind of the epitome of 80s, which is the high and low combined. She's shown with a very natural makeup hair look and this off the shoulder sweatshirt that clearly she was dancing in. And she's shown with one bracelet and red stiletto pumps with the pointed toe. I think this kind of sums up the 80s trends in a way because it was all about mixing high and low to the extreme. Hey guys, it's post editing Jess early in the morning with my iPhone 7 on a bowl of biscuits. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to mention one of the best fashion moments in the 80s was Sunny played by Don Johnson from Miami Vice. And my dad totally had this character as his style inspiration in the 80s. So the fact that I forgot to mention it is beyond me. So I had to just add this clip in because it's such a great moment. So, the white suit, the jacket, with the car, the pose, the music. It's such a fashion moment for guys in that time period. And I know that, you know, it's probably a lot of dads relate to wanting to be sunny from Miami Vice. So I just had to add this in, uh, even though this is a dorky clip. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> So those are the worst and best looks from the 80s. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some iconic fashion moments in the 80s with me. I think all of us are still somewhat inspired by the trends from this time period. So many of them will continue to carry a legacy. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. I post weekly content about fashion and film. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.